watching Dawn to Dawn. Right? Because if not, you really, really, really should be. Dawn to Dawn is fucking insane. It makes my editing look like a Twitch reaction stream. Yet its characters and relationships are so grounded in reality. And it's that beautiful contrast that'll lead to Don to Don being the next big, wildly popular shonen. Or, mark my words, I will delete my YouTube channel. We're getting a ball back to this one, boys! Story, Battle Shonen. Dual main characters, Momo, Akaru. These two meet clash, and then develop romantic feelings and personal harems over time while fighting aliens and ghosts in order to reclaim Akarun's magic testicles. Yes, that is actually the plot. But honestly, the plot doesn't matter at all. It's a predictable, emphasis on the air quotes, predictable battle shonen with a batshit insane coat of paint. Good guys, bad guys. The good guys are about to lose. Oh, oh no. Momo's about to get fucking raped. Yeah, this happens more often than it should. The good guys turn the tide and win. Rinse and repeat. You know the end result every single time, but you have absolutely no idea how you're gonna get there. And that's what makes it fun. Akarun's power is speed. The pacing is speed. I am Steve. It's, it's good. The powers and the pacing work well together. Everything is always in motion. And Don to Don never feels like a moment is wasted. Animation. Mm. Science Saru. Gorgeous. You know, they really did do an amazing job. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Netflix. You didn't do shit besides leak the first six episodes. Which, if you're wondering how I could know so much about an anime with only one episode out, well... Um, I saw the first six episodes. I saw the first three episodes in theaters. Animation, art, bah, wackiness. It's all great. But Don Don's real selling point is its characters and how their relationships develop over time. For example, I would like to put a baby in Momo's grandma. Momo is an amazing female character. Momo is an amazing character. So is Akarun, Grandma, Gigi, Ida. Don Don just has amazing characters. They're all wacky and entertaining, yet they interact like real people. And they're relatable and endearing because of that. Character relationships develop organically over time. And it's not just with each other. Their relationship to you, the viewer, evolves over time as well. And no, I don't mean that Grandma Seiko breaks the fourth wall with ASMR and calls you a good boy. Getting closer and closer over time as she whispers sweet nothings into your ear until Finally, you break the barrier and she embraces you. A guy can dream. I'm talking about how your perception of characters changes and grows as you learn more about them. You will absolutely hate these two until you love them. Speaking of love, romance. And this is a very strange thing to say about a battle shonen, but Momo and Akarun have a better written love story than almost all rom-coms. Like, it's not very fast-paced because it's not always the main focus of the story, but it is so... So cute and kind of relatable. And there is actually consistent, realistically paced, romantic development in a shonen. Oh, don't forget about the batshit battles and the schlong slurping jokes. That is still there. And if you are still not convinced to watch Don to Don, then that's okay, I guess.